All right, what's going on everyone? Just want to do a quick little video showing the gear that I've got together for my winter, uh, fall, winter 2017 loadout. I do live in North Texas, so it doesn't get uh, ridiculously cold. I will be taking this out on a small overnighter uh, coming up here pretty soon. Going to head out to Dinosaur Valley State Park and just uh, do some hiking, some backpacking and overnight camping in one of their primitive spots. So real quick, the gear. Um, I will be testing out a few items, uh, one of which is my backpack. This is a 50 plus 5 liter backpack. Got it off of Amazon for about $35. It weighs 2.5 pounds and it's sold by a company called Vbigger. The bigger, I'm not quite sure how to say it, but um, it's a uh, obviously it's a Chinese made backpack, Chinese there and there. I've been seeing this logo popping up on a lot of different um, bags on Amazon. It's just some Chinese OEM that's getting sold under different names here in the US. But um, this particular seller, V Bigger. They do have this 50 plus 5. They also have a 60 plus 5 that uh, Amazon lists as 2.3 pounds, I believe. So a couple of lightweight options from uh, V Bigger. For my shelter, I'll be going with my Gear Top Ultralight One Person Tent. It is a trekking pole tent, so I will be taking my trekking poles. They're Cascade Mountain uh, carbon trekking poles. Um, really nice uh, good budget alternative for trekking poles if you need them they go for about thirty to forty five dollars on uh, Amazon uh, also I have uh, tent stakes that came with my gear top there's 16 in here they're ultra light aluminum stakes so far I've used them a few times and I really like them plus you can carry 16 for uh, a little bit of weight my tarp May or may not take this with me. I'm not sure yet. It weighs about two pounds, so it's nylon. It's not sill nylon. Uh, it does have a reflective side on it, so it does do good for warmth, but I'm not quite sure I'll be taking that because I do have a rain fly with my tent, which, because it is a little colder, I'll probably be using the rain fly for warmth. For my sleep system, uh, this is a snug pack compression sack <laughs> it's not an actually uh, it's a Teton sports trailhead plus 20 uh, sleeping bag I just use the compression bag off of my uh, snug pack under quilt because the bag that comes with the Teton is just a stuff sack it's not a compression bag so I want to use a compression bag my tutu outdoors uh, sleeping pad which I have a video review of nice sleeping pad uh, lightweight weighs weighs in at a pound and one of my luxury items is a uh, Trekology camping pillow. It's kind of a, uh, it's very similar to the Sea to Summit Eros pillow, uh, but it only, it only costs $15, weighs 3.5 ounces. So I sacrifice a little bit of weight for that comfort. Food and water. I don't have my food yet. I'll be picking, on the, I'll be picking that up as I go out to the park. But um, my cook kit, it's a Tokes 750 milliliter titanium pot with a BRS ultralight stove, uh, one fuel canister, and a silicone uh, pot gripper, which weighs all of one ounce, and a rag. Then there's my titanium spork from uh, Fitness City, and then I've got my Sawyer Mini with the 16-ounce uh, bag that comes with it, plus the uh, back flush syringe. I'll be taking two uh, one-liter smart water bottles, uh, some utility stuff I'll be taking. This is my uh, cordage bag. It's just a bunch of paracord. It's got a spool tool and some guy lines, the, uh, the lines that actually came with my tent. My fire kit and my camping towel. This is some emergency stuff I have. Um, Magellan Outdoor Packable Rain Jacket. Uh, first aid kit, emergency bivy, Magellan headlamp and my hygiene bag which is pretty much just some toilet paper toothbrush toothpaste and some deodorant for electronics uh, one thing i will be trying out 
on the trail I do I have used them regularly but that's these uh, Bluetooth headsets uh, Bluetooth headset earbuds they're from a company called uh, Tautronics cost about 30 35 dollars on Amazon so far I've been using these at work and around the house and they work pretty good a couple of spare batteries for my camera my Sony uh, AX53 that I'm shooting on now my phone it's the essential phone I'll be taking that with me and my ba my power bank it's a RAV power 22,000 um, milliamp hour battery uh, kinda hefty it weighs almost a pound just by itself so I'm gonna be getting a different one pretty soon um, my tripod my little gorilla pod that I'm gonna be taking with me and this is just a, uh, a USB cable for that. I don't have a USB-C cable for my essential phone just yet. Just got this phone about a week ago and still gathering up cables. I did have one cable, but it's six feet long and I don't want to take that. All right, on to clothes. Columbia quarter zip fleece there that I'll be taking with me, as well as a sock cap if I need it at night. Uh, my clothes bag. In it is a thermal top and bottoms, um, a warm pair of socks, change of underwear, and a spare t-shirt. So all that will be in my bag. Clothes that I'll be wearing. Starting at the top, I've just got a uh, Condor operator hat with the mesh backing. I'll be wearing just a synthetic uh, polyester t-shirt. Um, some uh, compression fit uh, boxer briefs. For my pants, I'm going a little bit heavier. During the summer, I was wearing a pair of Columbia Silver Ridge hiking pants, but since it will be a little bit cooler, I'm going to go a little bit heavier. These are uh, some LA Police Gear Atlas uh, tactical pants. They're a 60-40 poly cotton blend with this... Uh, they're what they call their stretch tech material at key places so it stretches. And then for socks, I've got my darn tough uh, merino wool crew socks. For my shoes, I've got my Merrill Moab 2 ventilators. I've worn these a couple times already. Love these shoes. Uh, the two times I've worn them so far, they have gotten completely soaked. One time was the last time I was out at Dinosaur Valley, and I ended up wading through the Plexi River for about a quarter mile in about um, knee to thigh high water. And so these shoes and these socks performed very well. Last time I went out was with a friend. We went to Lake Arrowhead, and we went out hiking in the morning, and there was so much dew that uh, shoes and socks got completely soaked. But about an hour or so later, hiking around, they dried out pretty quick. So, so far I'm really loving these socks and these shoes. Alright, so that's it for my uh, fall, early winter 2017 loadout. Be taking it out tomorrow, give it a shot, and make any changes that I need to. So thanks for checking out the video, and until the next time, see you on the trail.